here's the stun from Dawn Stepping Thoughts to that. And today, this is the second project we're making with this cute little skunk. This is a treat bag. And inside holds candy. And let me show you with the card. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? And then I also made the flirty flamingo version too. All right, but we're going to make the peekaboo peach. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to use my Simply Score today because we're going to be scoring a lot of score lines on this piece of cardstock. So I'm using the Peekaboo Peach, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a quarter. And we're going to use the eight and a quarter inch side across the top of our Simply Scored. And we're going to score this at three quarter. Then three and one fourth. Four inches four and three fourths, then seven and a fourth, and then eight. Okay, then you're going to turn it on the five and a half inch side, and we're going to score this at one and a half. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fold our score lines. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and add our tear and tape. And I'm going to fold this quarter inch score line, which is where we scored the eight. I'm going to put the tear and tape on the other side. Okay, then I'm going to put tear and tape on these two larger sections right here. Now we're going to cut our score lines. We're going to cut up to the one and a half inch score line. So you're going to cut here and then here. And here. Okay, so now we're going to seal up this side first. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the backing. Okay, so then I'm going to take this seven and a quarter inch score line. I'm just going to fold that over and then fold it over and it should line up perfect, just like that. Okay, so now our box should look like this. Now we're just going to go ahead and peel off our tear and tape backing on these two bottom pieces here. Okay, and you're going to fold in our sides then folding over one of the panels and then folding over the other. Okay, you can take your bone folder and make sure that it adheres down really good. Okay, and then the sides are just going to kind of pinch in like that. So then it just sits open. Isn't that cute? Okay, so then for my designer paper, this is the 2016-18 designer paper stack with the Peekaboo Peach. These two pieces are cut at one inch by two and a half. So we're just going to layer these onto the bag, the front. Okay, then we're going to bring in our little skunk, pop him up on dimensionals. In the center of the bag. Okay, then one more thing, we're going to add a little bow. Okay, we're going to use the Peekaboo Peach Roost ribbon. I'm just going to tie a bow. Right about there looks good. Okay, I'm going to use a glue dot. I'm going to attach that to the front. Right above the little skunk. I'm going to use a few of the glue dots just to make sure it doesn't come off. So cute. Okay, so then for my cello bag, now these are cello bags that I've had in my studio for a long time, but Stampin' Up! is selling two new sizes of the cello bags. Let me show you. 
I haven't actually got them yet, but they're on page 176 in the annual catalog. There's the brand new gusseted cello bags, and those are at the three by six size. And then what size would really work cute with this would be the new two by eight size cello bag. And those are brand new. And these are both or all three of them are on page 176. And then if you did use the two by eight, you would just trim the bag down from the eight inches to, I don't know, about three or three and a half inches tall. And then I just tied that with the ruche ribbon. That's it. Super cute. So there's that one. And then here's the matching card. And then the flirty flamingo bag. Okay, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.